Okay then, so we're gonna go into our warm up. We're gonna start up and down with the neck. We're gonna go ear to ear. Side to side. We're going to go into some shoulder shrug rotations. So put your hands on your knees, shrug up and around. Nice big circles. Breathing in as you come up, so you expand your chest. Now we're going to go the opposite direction from behind. So put your hands on your back of your legs and you're going to come up your back. So breathe in, up and around. So breathe in, up and around. Nice big circles, breathe in, up and around. Okay then, now hands across your chest. So just open up that chest. And then we're going to go one arm up, one arm down. Now we're going to go into some wrap rounds. So wrap round, keep that back nice and straight. So just loosen off those that midsection. Okay, then now hip rotations, nice big circles with the hips. And then we're going to go the opposite direction again, nice big circles with the hips. Just feel your muscles engage in the front and the back as you go around. Okay, now we're going to go into some windmills. So this is to open up the chest and the shoulders. Take your hands and just rotate backwards like you're doing a backstroke. Nice big circles. And now just look behind, follow your hands where they're going. Now from here we're going to do some shallow squats, so I just want you to hinge at the waist, sit back into your squat, push through your heels, push those hips back, keep your chest nice and high, don't worry about going too deep, you're just doing this to help warm up those muscles, then reach up and stretch, high as you can, and up onto your toes, so you're reaching for the stars. And now we're going to plant our feet. And then we're going to twist. So sit into your squat, come up, twist, sit back down. Again, a couple more. Okay, now step out into a side lunge stretch. You're going to arms out, turn, little rotation into the move. And we're going to go to the side, turn little rotation into the move. Make sure you bring that back heel up. And then we're gonna switch from one side to the other. Just drop it into the lunge as we go. Keep that chest nice and high. Okay then, and relax. All right then, just a little shake off. You're gonna put one toe on the ground. You're gonna rotate it round. Nice big circle with the ankle. And then opposite direction again. Nice big circles with the ankle. Now just stretch your toe out. So you can stretch the top of the foot. And then we're going to go to the other side. Rotate round. And we're going to go the opposite direction. Nice big circles with the ankle. And just stretch the top of the foot out. Okay. Little shake off, just going to loosen off our wrists. Now, all we need to do put your arms out in front, put your knuckles together, or your thumb knuckles together, and then you're going to rotate under and out, rotating your back and then standing up. So, leaning forwards and stand up, bringing those hands under and around. Just rotate that hand, warm up those wrists, those upper back muscles as well.
and relax. Now we're just going to activate our hips and the glutes before we get going. So put your weight onto one leg, bend your knee, and we're going to point our leg round in the position of a dial. So you're going to go forwards, out to the side at a diagonal angle, straight out to the side, diagonal back, and then reach back as far as you can, keeping this leg nice and stationary. You're then going to come across like a curtsy and then come back following the same path. Bring them across and then forwards opposite side so we're going to go bend the leg weight onto the knee push the leg forwards diagonal forwards out to the side diagonal back straight back stretch as far as you can cross for the curtsy bring it back and follow the path back so it's back diagonal out to the side Diagonal forwards, straight forwards, and relax. A little shake off, a couple of deep breaths in, and we're ready to go. Today's circuit is a paired circuit where we're going to be focusing on strength. So all the reps are going to be nice and controlled. We're going to be using tempo, which basically is the speed that we move during the exercise to create more tension uh, as we're working. So the first pair of exercises is going to be kettlebell swings and single arm overhead press. The way it's going to work, you'll do a set of swings, then you'll do one set of single arm press, set of swings, then another set of single arm press on the opposite side, and we'll repeat that. So we do a total of four sets of each exercise. Okay. So if you're wanting to do the swing, you need a nice kettlebell. You can do this single arm as well if you've got a lighter kettlebell. If you've got a double heavier kettlebell, do a double arm swing. So what we're going to do is going to hinge at the waist, take the kettlebell. Hold it so it's dead hanging, and you're going to swing it between your legs, and then fire up nice and explosively into the move. Okay, if you're doing a single arm swing, it's exactly the same thing, but you're just going to take the kettlebell in one arm, and you're going to swing it between your legs, and then bring it up more or less through the centre line of your body. Okay, again, if you're doing the kettlebell single arm swing, you will need to alternate which arm you use each round. Now overhead press, bring it onto the back of your wrist, so you're holding the kettlebell on the back of your wrist in the cusp of your elbow, use your other hand to create tension and torsion. With this one we're going to be using tempo, so you're going to go explosive into the air, then you control it down, three, two, one, pause, explosive into the air, three, two, one, and continue, okay? Remember, swap sides each round. The second pair of exercises we're going to do is a goblet squat and a single arm row. With the goblet squat, hold it at chest height, and then you're going to just sit into your squat and then come up nice and explosively. So control it back, sit into your squat, explosive into the air. Okay, if you want to, you can double up on your kettlebells. So if you're doing that, take two kettlebells, bring them onto the back of your wrists, and then you're just going to sit into your squat, keeping those kettlebells nice and high. So it's similar to what we do when we're doing the overhead press. Now, if you are using the kettlebell, sorry, on the single arm, uh, sorry, on the goblet squat, what we are going to do is go down with three seconds, have a pause, and then come up nice and explosively. Single arm row, take hold of your kettlebell. Now you can either use your own leg as a brace, so put your hand on your knee, lean forwards, keep the leg back, that is the same, same side as you're holding the weight, and then you're going to bring your weight up, explosively up, and then control down, three, two, one, explosive up, control down, three, two, one. Each round, swap sides, so you're on the opposite side, aim to keep your back at a 45 degree angle, make sure your head is in a nice neutral position, okay? From there, we're then going to go into a single arm, uh, sorry, a single leg bridge. So with a single leg bridge, what you need to do is just lift one leg into the air, make sure it's in line with your knee, and then you're going to push up nice and explosively, hold for a second, control that down. So it's explosive up, control that down. Now your hands, you can either put across your chest, all inside of your body. If you're inside your body, it gives you a bit of stability, make it a bit harder, put them across your chest. Make sure you swap legs each round. 
and then we've got the pal off press hole so with this one what you need to do is get yourself a small towel of some description a t-shirt will work as well and what we're going to do i'm just using a boxing mitt this works quite nicely place it up against the side of a door frame so you can get a little bit of an angle on there and get your elbow in and then you're going to be holding your hands in a fist position with the outside hand is going to push against the pad okay so clench your hands together and then you're going to push making sure your um, fists are level with your sternum so you've got a straight line sopping your knees ever so slightly and then you're going to push into the pad as hard as you can as you're pushing you'll feel your muscles around your rib cage basically contract so we're looking to work the obliques it's similar to doing a single lot um, a side plank okay so we're looking to work similar muscles as we do on a side plank so we're just going to push into it and you're going to squeeze and hold for the duration of the round uh, as we got alternate make sure you're swapping sides so move to the opposite side of your door frame and then you're going to squeeze and hold okay right then get yourselves ready we're going to start in 10 seconds so we're going to start with the swings so pick your uh, your weight Side where you're going to do a double or a single. And we're going to start in 10 seconds. Right then, get yourselves ready. You've got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, let's go. Hinge at the waist, explosive into the air. Fire it up with those glutes. You want to be straightening your legs out as you stand up, okay? Remember, this is a groin and a hip exercise predominantly. So your back and your shoulders do come into it. Primarily, primarily it is a hip and groin exercise. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay then. So we're gonna go into the single arm press. Bring that weight up onto your arm. We've got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Bring it up. So it's explosive into the air. Control down in three, two, one. Pause. Explosive up. Control it down. Pause. Explosive up. And again, three, two, one. Explosive back up. Three, two, one. Explosive back up. Time for one more rep. Explosive up, control it down, three, two, one, and rest. So into the swing again. So we're gonna do some, uh, remember if you're doing the double single arm swing, you need to swap arms at this point. Okay, then get ready, three, two, one. Explosive into the move, firing that kettlebell up. You should feel it flick nice and easily in your hands at the top. So don't grip the kettlebell too hard. But make sure you're gripping it hard enough that you don't drop it or throw it across the room. 10 seconds left. Let's keep it going. Explosive up. Three, two, one, and rest. Single arm press back onto the opposite side. We've got 10 seconds. So remember, three seconds down, explosive into the air. Get ready. Let's bring the kettlebell up. Three, two, one. Explosive up. Three, two, one, down. Pause. Explosive up. Three, two, one, down. 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 Last rep. Explosive up. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay then. So single, sorry, swing, single arm. If you're doing the single arms, back to the opposite side. Stick with the double if you've got heavy enough weight for that and you can feel it working. Three, 
two, one. Okay, let's go into that double arm swing or the single, depending on what you've chosen. So remember, explosive up, thrusting with the hips. Got to think like Wayne's World. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay then, single arm press back onto that opposite side. Let's get ready. Five seconds, get the kettlebell into position. So it's gonna be explosive into the air. Three, two, one, control it down. Explosive up, so three seconds, three, two, one, explosive up, and again, three, two, one, explosive up, three, two, one, explosive up, three, two, one, explosive into the air, and again, three, two, one, explosive up, three, two, one, and rest. Last set of swings. Then swap the arms if you're doing that single arm. Get ready. Five seconds left. Three, two, one. Okay, let's go. Explosive up. Fire up with those hips. Got 15 seconds left. Last five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay then. So we're gonna go back into our single arm press. Five seconds, get ready. Bring it up. Three, two, one. Explosive up. Control down. Explosion into the air. Three, two, one. Down. Explosive up. And again, three, two, one. Down. Explosive up. Three, two, one. Explosive up. Three, two, one. Explosive up, last rep, three, two, one. Explosive into the air, and three, two, one, and rest. Okay then, so we're gonna go into the goblet squat. So then you can do these with a double hold or a single hold. Remember, you choose. I'm gonna start off with a single, and I'm gonna move up as we get a little bit more warmed up into it. Okay, you get ready for the goblet squat then, hold it at chest height. Sitting back, three, two, one, explosive up. And again, three, two, one, explosive up. Three, two, one, explosive up. And again, three, two, one, explosive up. Three, two, one, explosive up. One more rep. Three, two, one, and rest. Single arm row. So step that leg, opposite leg forwards. Step into the lunge. Three, two, one. Explosive up, control it down. Explosive up, control it down. Explosive into the air, three, two, one, explosive up, three, two, one, keeping that elbow tight in, three, two, one, and again, three, two, one, again, three, two, one, and rest. Get ready then. So we're gonna go into that uh, goblet squat. So I'm going for a double hold. 
Okay, then get ready. Sit into the squat, explosive into the air. So control it down, three, two, one. Explosive up, again. Three, two, one. Explosive up. Three, two, one. Explosive up. 10 seconds, we're time for two more reps. Last rep, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, then single arm row, opposite side. So remember, keep that elbow nice and tight into your rib cage and feel those back muscles engage as we do the uh, exercise. Bring it up. Three, two, one. Explosive 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 up. Engage that back. Three, two, one. Explosive up. Three, two, one. Last rep. Control it down and rest. Okay, then back into that goblet squat. Remember, single or double kettlebell. You choose which one you want to do. Okay, then get ready. We've got 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Get those kettlebells up. Sit into it. Three, two, one. Explosive up. 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 Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Explosive up. Last rep. And time. Okay, then get ready. Single arm row. Halfway through the workout now. So we've got 10 seconds. Get yourselves into position. Leg forwards. Make sure that body's at 45 degrees to the ground. Explosive up. Three, two, one, down. 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 Explosive up, last rep. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, well done. Okay, ready, we've got 10 seconds. We're going to our last set of goblet squat. Three, two, one. Bring them up, and sit into the squat, explosive into the air. Control it down, explosive into the air. So remember, three, two, one, explosive up. Let's keep going. Three, two, one, explosive up. Last two reps. Three, two, one. Time for one more. Three, two, one and time. Okay then, last set of single arm row. So get ready. Three, two, one. It's explosive into the air, control it down. Explosive up, control it down. Again, explosive up, three, two, one, and again, explosive up, three, two, one, explosive up, three, two, one, explosive up, three, two, one, one more rep, explosive up, control down, and rest. Well done, good work. Okay, we're gonna go into our final pair, so we've got single leg bridge, and the pal off press hold. So start off on your leg of choice, knee in the air, 
two, one, explosive up, control it down. So it's explosive up, control it down. Just pause for a second in between. So pause at the top, then control it down. Feel the muscle in this leg. It's working, contract. Keep going, you've got 10 seconds. A couple more reps, so explosive up, control it down. One more rep, explosive up, control it down. And rest. We're gonna go into our Pablo press. So get hold of your pad or your towel, just wrap it into a ball, place it against the side of the door frame, and squeeze and tense. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Apply that pressure. You want to keep your body vertical, hands level with the sternum. We're just pushing in so you should feel the work, the muscles around your ribcage working and engaging on this exercise. So good work. Hold it there, 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and rest. This is a great exercise if you have shoulder problems. It's a great alternative to the uh, great alternative to your side planks. Okay, then get ready. Five seconds. Opposite leg up. Three, two, one. Explosion into the air. Control it down. Explosive up. Control it down. Drive through with those legs. Squeeze and hold, control it down. Drive it up, squeeze and hold, control down. 10 seconds left. Time for about three reps. So it's explosive up, control it down. One more rep, squeeze and hold, control down. So get ready for the uh, Pavlov press. So we're gonna go opposite side. So I'm just going to turn at a slight angle for you here, so you can see what I'm doing. So remember you're pressing in, I'm going to turn my back to you, I apologise for this now. So we're going to squeeze and hold, get ready, let's go. So push in, you're squeezing, pushing against that pad, remember getting that brace, bracing that hold, squeeze and control. Feel the ribs can engage. Take a look at my back. Some people might say that's the best side of me. Last few seconds and rest. Okay, then get ready. So we're going to go opposite leg, the one that you started on. 10 seconds. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Explosive up, control it down. Again, explosive up, control it down. Little pause at the top of the movement, remember. So you're just contracting the muscles on the leg that is working. Explosive up, control it down. Explosive up, control down. We've got 10 seconds left. Let's keep going. Explosive up, control it down. Five seconds. Three, Two, one, and rest. Then into that pull-off press. So take all of the weight, take all of your pad, sorry. Push in to the wall, or the door frame, or the balance, or whatever you're using. Let's go, so squeeze and tense. Feel that tension in your midsection. Remember to keep your knees nice and soft. This is good work. Doing well. Squeeze and tense. Last few seconds, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay then, so we've got one more set on each. So we're going into the uh, low bridge. Last rep, last set on the leg that you haven't worked yet. Okay, and get ready. Five seconds. Three, 
two, one, explosive up, control down, explosive up, control it down, nice and explosive into the air, squeeze and hold, push through with those hips, squeeze and hold at the top, control down, 10 seconds left, time for three reps in 10 seconds. Control it down, last one, explosive up, hold it until the buzzer, and rest. So we're gonna go for the uh, half press, we're gonna go onto the opposite side. You can also do this on the wall as well, so you do have a, can't do it on the door, you can do it on the wall. You just have to turn at a slight angle, so it's better if you do have a pad for this one. So push in, okay, you ready, let's go. Squeeze and hold, just push in against that pad or that towel. Remember if you're doing it against the wall, just turn at a slight angle. So you're not bashing your elbow into the bricks. Push and hold into the movement. We're nearly there. Last few seconds. Last exercise, last round. We need to keep that vision forwards. And time. So excellent, good work everyone. Take a moment, just have a little, get your breath back, get a drink, have a bit of a shake off and then we'll do our cool down. Okay, so we're gonna do a little cool down now. Just relax, a few deep breaths in. Nice deep breath in, just relax. Deep breath in, and relax. From here, just want you to stretch your arms in the air, to reach to the ceiling. I'm just gonna start by leaning to one side, now squeeze and tense, and then just relax and stretch into it. And then we're just gonna to go to the other side. So again, breathe in, let's go to one side. Let's go as far as you naturally can go. Now tense, and then just relax. Stretch a little bit further and relax. Take one arm, just pull it across your chest. I'm just going to have a little rotation into the move. Loosen off that middle back area. Now we're going to go to the other side now. So just a little rotation to the opposite side. And relax. Just take your hands, place them behind your back. And then just soften into it. Pull your arms away from your body. and get these arms as high as you can. So just stretch up chest and shoulders and relax. Then from here, we're gonna hinge at the waist, arms out in front in a bow shape. Imagine you're holding a big ball in front of you. And then just do a little sideways figure of eight with your hands. Just loosen off that upper back. Now we're gonna do the opposite way. And relax. Then from here, hands on hips. Arch back and relax. Now take one leg, pull it behind, push those hips forward, shoulders back. Make sure you're still nice and tall and relax. Opposite side, bring those legs in, push your hips forward, shoulders back, stand nice and tall and relax. Just do a little hamstring stretch, so place one foot in front of the other, weight onto your back leg, and just reach down and stretch. Reach for that toe, and relax. Just go to the opposite side, and just reach down and stretch, reach for that toe, and relax. Okay then, from here, we're just gonna go down onto our knees. I'm just gonna go into a Child's pose, so we're kneeling down. And put your head just out of your head onto the ground. Arms out in front. And from here, just roll forwards and up. So you're just stretching up to that cobra. And we're just going to come back and just repeat the move again. So roll up. Just hold it there. 
struggle with this one, you can also just go down onto your forearms. Just looking to over, hyperextend that back, just overstretch it slightly. And relax. Coming into box position. So you arch up. And breathe in and arch back. Hold it there for a few seconds and then go the opposite way. And again, breathe in. Breathe out. Come back onto your heels and come back up to standing. Have a little shake off. I'm just going to finish with a couple of breathing exercises. So I'll just start by hands at your bread basket around your waist. Breathe in. You're breathing up. Letting your air out as your arms point to the ceiling. Bring them back round. Again, breathe in. And then breathe up. Bring them back round, and again, breathe in, in through the nose if you can, and out through the mouth, stretch back round. Now we're going to come the opposite way, so breathe in, and then breathe down. Again, breathe in, and then breathe down. One more time, breathe in. And breathe down and relax. 